primarily a clinician. I do uh, pediatric radiology over at Packard. I do all types of imaging, uh, MR, CT, ultrasound, fluoroscopic. I work over at Packard, though my office is in Stanford Hospitals, and that's about three quarters of a mile one way. And then the Clark Center is another three quarters of a mile. So I can, I can easily walk five or six miles a day on dress shoes. I applied for this particular grant uh, three times, the first submission and then two revisions. This project is radiotherapy, and the radiotherapy is directed by a protein called uh, vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, and that VEGF receptor is almost exclusively expressed in tumors and nowhere else. So it's a good way to localize radioactivity. If it's successful, uh, down the road will mean that patients who don't respond to conventional chemotherapy have an alternative. This theoretically could be used for most, if not, I won't say all cancers, but the vast majority. I had basically written off the grant because it was a borderline score, and uh, in good years that would have been funded uh, to at least some level, but with all the cutbacks, I kind of given, I kind of gave up hope. I found out about the grant through a phone call, and I was just shocked. I mean, it was took it took about a month uh, before it settled in. I kept on pinching myself and said, "Did I imagine that phone call?" And NIH was very good. They they basically took a program that normally would have taken a year and compressed the disbursements into a month, which is, from a logistic standpoint is, is unbelievable. For me, it basically allows me to keep on doing my research. Uh, without that money, I wouldn't be able to retain uh, Zoya Levashova, who been with, has been with me for four years, and I wouldn't be able to hire Helen Darkai, who now has just started uh, several months ago. I'm very grateful that I was able to, get, to uh, receive this funding because it, it couldn't have come at a better time.